I don't know what that means. We will find out in due time, I'm sure. But where are we? The objective is straight ahead. Okay, let's just keep going with the objective. This was get Max back. His book of some type. Little by little, piece by piece, I take back what's been stolen from me. Little by little, piece by piece, until I'm complete. It's a very pink tree. Uh huh. Can I reach that from here? No, I can't. Ah. I see. The leap ability would have been quite useful to get into there. Yep, I can't. I can't. That's where the leap ability would be useful, wouldn't it? Okay. Well, I can't get that to that now. There are dead things here. There's a lot of dead things here. What is that? Marauder Hooligan. Is it just more than one or is it just one? Just him. Any more? Oh, shit, there is. Yeah, there is. Oh, God. That was a canid. What's a canid doing? They ran. They're sneaky. They fear me. I gotta remember which keys do what. That's a different assault rifle. I should have my gun out just in case. Nothing. I think I see him. I do. Oh God. Go. Frank. Got him. Making better use of it. Oh God. How am I doing? Get a little health out of this. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Okay, see, I'm making better use of the uh, tactical temporal time dilation. Okay, I don't even know what that is. It's TTD. All the stuffs. I'm getting a lot of these things. Are these doors open? I do. Check the dead bodies first. Rotter lookout, okay. Huh. Like all these buildings. Am I in the right place? I don't even know. I should probably check the map. I am in the right place. So it says it's right there, my handy dandy map. I think I should check all these places out first. Let me reload. Switch to the shotgun because it's incredibly useful. And it's really good in short range. Hello? Knock, knock. Hello. Unusual person. I have no idea what I just picked up. Model spaceship, more gear. Energy brew, that sounds important. Like a toilet. Like that. All right, well, there's nothing in that one. That's the building I'm going into. Checked him. Evicted. 
just check the six here and make sure there's nothing that can beat the ha 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 yeah so is this what they were they were guarding things that I like ooh all this good stuff magazine numb mags to zap range weapon mod magazine change the weapon damage type to shock this modification electric charges the chambered round immediately before firing upon impact. The round discharges, electrocuting the target. Wow, that sounds really cool, but I can only use them once, right? I can't swap them out. Uh, this is just increase the magazine size, and that's an impact hammer. Level four. That's much higher than I am. I'm going to take them all. Yeah. So that mod will actually electrically charge my low pressure helmet. Is that any good? Makeshift low pressure suit. It is armor type armor nine. Oh, I gotta take that. Hatch low pressure helmet. I'll take that as well. In fact, I just take all of it. Why am I even questioning? It sounds like a really good deal. Okay. Now. Let's put that in mind. Let's uh, check out what I'm wearing because I have the makeshift low pressure suit, which is nine armor, which is. Yeah, that's a much better choice. Let's just wear that. Come on, get up there. Uh, not great, but better. Oh, I, I should probably try to see what this is. Nine versus six. I don't know. Maybe I should turn on the helmet thing because really. The Weasel's not the greatest looking guy in the world, and I think helmets would be kind of cool to see. So, eh, we'll see. I've also collected a lot of assault rifles, haven't I? So, the assault rifle I have is a Spacer's Choice. I'm going to look compare to that. Um, this is 180. That's 215. I'm glad I didn't waste the money on that because this is a lot better. Magazine size slightly smaller. I Can I break this down? How many of these do I have? I have one, two. I'm going to break this one down because it's not really as good. Level one, while well, this is level five. Yeah, I'm going to break that down. I'm also going to... Got two of these. That one's worth more. It's got a diamond next to it. I'm learning these things as we go. This crummy little pistol, I'm going to break that down as well. I should probably go back and break that other one down. Uh, this one's the same as this one. Okay. This is Choice Assault Rifle. What happened with the... Other rifle. That's the light machine gun. Just press compare that one. There we go. They turned it off. But I have two of these. I think that's going to be very interesting. So let's... Um, how many weapon parts do I have now? I don't know. Modifications... Armor parts, I've got a fair number, not a great number. So I think if I get rid of at least one of these, it's not going to break my heart. That is a very interesting weapon. This, how much of these do I have? I have... Ah, oh, it actually highlights them up for me. Okay, now that I have enough of those, I'm going to put that there. Very cool. Okay, so... How much to repair my pistol? I gotta keep that in good shape. That required seven. Oh yeah. I'm gonna be doing a lot of this. Required eight. Okay, that's very that's still very important. Uh this is now at 86%. I'm not gonna do that yet. Pistol. That. Okay. It's an assault rifle. Yes. I have no idea if this is any good or not, but we're gonna use it anyways. You've got no legs. Hmm. This one's got some good worth to it. 
many more buildings are here? Uh, we're going to pick it anyways. Standard troop helmet. Power 2 mag bit cartridge. We're taking all of those. The standard troop helmet is very interesting. Tamed canid. Weapon parts. I need those weapon parts. Oh, look at that. All sorts of all sorts of stuff. Goodies galore. Okay, another build, set of outbuildings out there. So who lives here that is hiding a book? In all reality, there shouldn't be anyone out here. Except for marauders. Right? But this is where they where the book is, so this cannery. Okay. Alright, Mr. Book. Who's got the book? Somebody got a book here? Book collector. Hmm, interesting. So there's things here, but who's here is my question. Nothing. Yeah, let's, let's check everything. That is an open door. Take that now. Pick up gourmet salt tuna fillets. They said that salt tuna fillets was very important. Going to open this and check inside. Okay. And that's the toilet. I don't know what that is. Looks like that'd be important, but it's really not. Sit. Sleep. Oh. Magpack. I at least I get one of my magpacks back. Oh! Retrofitted pow heavy power armor. <gasps> yes, please. Yes. Heavy ammo, yeah. Gold mine of stuff. Heavy power armor. Like the Drino. Bam, and what does this say? Collector's letter, I just got the letter today. Corporate ordered me to relocate to Edgewater Cannery, effective immediately. It's a shame, I was really looking forward to running my own gift shop at the community center, selling rare memorabilia, but scripture tells us that all things happen for a reason. Scripture tells us, hmm, work fortifies the spirit and all. As for my book collection, I can't bear to part with it. Don't want these books moldering in some contraband locker, so I stash them away in a cave over by the river. Moldering away? You put them in a cave by a river! Illustrated manual, I got that. Let's check my journal. Check my journal. Uh, illustrated manual. Retrieve the collector. When the collector had to abandon his home, he hid the band book in a small cave along with some other contraband. Travel to the cave to retrieve it. This just keeps getting worse and worse. Clement Eldridge. From J. Bartell. Uh, Clement, I find I must disagree with your theories about the Earth's Directorate's place in the colonial system. Sadly, as much as I appreciate the board and their new frontier they've opened for us, I believe Halcyon and the other colonies on the rim of the galaxy would fall to pieces or war amongst themselves if the Earth Directorate wasn't around to regulate trade and settle disputes. Do you think the corporations would mind the mandated inclusion of an Earth Minister if they had a choice in the matter? And how did Clement respond? Jefferson, of course, I'd never dispute that Earth is the heart of the whole colonial system, but the real adventure and an independent spirit, which mankind truly thrives, is found to be out there amongst the furthest colonies. I still think you're wrong about the history, though. The discovery of the shit skip drive was not what gave Earth Directorate the power over the corporations. The high cost of the Great War left them in a weakened state, and the skip drive was simply the extra leverage the directorate needed to return to power. Fascinating bit of history there. But it didn't give me the book. So let's go check what's up here. Open. Fascinating. 
Okay. It's over. It tells me I want to walk around this way. I don't know why. I guess not. I guess I could have come around this doorway and gone through here. Can I go through? Nope, I can't. Uh, oh, oh god. I could have come up and around and done some things. Oh. Thank you. Two. Two. I wonder where this cave is located by a river. Seems like an unsafe place for books, but let's unlock this pick. Lots of things. I like it. Take it all. Okay. So where is... That's not the river, I hope. Where is this cave by a river? It's back that way. Okay. All right. Well, fine. I guess it's going to be okay. We'll just have to go back. Did you get everything here? I think I did. Let's go. Okay. Fascinated what all these things are. I think we should stick on task for the time being. Close some doors. We don't want them to think that, you know, what, I grew up in a barn or something? Did I check that building? I think I did. I think it's evicted, closed off, but I just can't remember now. Yeah, it's closed off. Okay. Fascinated, but can't check it now. Where exactly am I going, anyways? Did I check you? I did. Ah, I see. I could have jumped, 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 and gone her back around. I'm not sure why I needed to do that. Ah, except for the fact that it probably could have saved me some picks. Go with a little... Yeah, that's what we want. I can judge these things from a distance. I gotta tell you, fascinating, beautiful place, though. That's a big building. So where exactly am I going again? Marauder Hooligan. Yeah. I got it. Oh, I got power armor. I just realized I got power armor. Where is it? Retrofitted heavy power armor Hephaestus model. Uh, 16 armor where opposed to I was 9. That's even better. Okay. Nice. I look good. Blue stick, blue helmet. These are about the same. These are all about the same. That's very that's very valuable, that one. Level six, level two, level two. This oh, it gives plus. This is block pick plus five. Ah, each of these have things different values. Gotta start paying more attention to that. Heavy weapons and stealth skills. Oh, I see. So yeah, that actually decreases my stealth quite a bit. So, yeah, these are kind of important to know. This increases my head, um, handguns. I'll put that on. And this decreases my stealth skills, but I look freaking awesome! I think I'll just I'll stick with this. Because it allows me to add my uh, tech skills to it. Okay. Alright, well, this is useful. Marauder Vandal versus a Marauder Hooligan. Okay. Before I decide to go this way, let me just double check. I don't need to go this way. I need to go to the cave, which is over there. I need to go off road. I don't need to go up that hill and fight those guys. Because I'm smarter than they are. Sort of. Hmm. 
likely ambush spot. Aha, uh -huh. I see them. Okay. And boom. Ooh, I didn't... Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Is he hiding? Oh, he tried to flank me. These guys are smarter than I expect. That worked. I'm actually getting used to that. It took a little time, but I figured it out. I heard something. Something open, it seemed like. I Something opened. What was it, I wonder? The spacer's choice. They've been robbing. Peace me. Yeah, we get. Oh, shit, I won. Transport wreckage discovered. Okay. Were any of these openable? Or is it just all wreckage, I'm wondering? What is that right there? I saw that from a distance, but, um, hmm. Okay. So that told me there was transport wreckage here. But, um, hmm. What it? Oh, yeah, I shot his head off, didn't I? I uh, tamed Canid again. So, what is that? Pacer's Choice Facility of some type. Where is the... I'm just not having a compass. It's kind of a bad thing. I am really close to it. It's just off to my left. There's a cave over there, I'm guessing. Cave by a river. Is this the cave? I'm yes it is. I'm just reloading everything because you never know what you might find in these places. Okay. I need pistol for this. Sneak through the water and see if we see anybody. I don't see anyone here, mind you. That doesn't mean much. River hideout. What is this? This is a light. Okay. Where does it go? Before I go in there, where there's obviously things that I don't know what they are on the floor, where does this go? How far does it go? I'll go back and look. It goes quite a way. How far does it go? Aha! Uh -huh, there's just an exit. Okay, so let's go back and investigate the area that was brightly lit with very colorful things, because that seems like it's an interesting thing. What is, what's going on here? What is this? Oh, shit! Those are mines. I wasn't expecting that. I lit them all off, though. That was a good thing. So those are what they are. They're brightly colored mines. I didn't think they would go off in proximity like that. But we did learn a valuable lesson, though. So, and that's the most important thing. Uh, okay. Luckily, I can pick that. But there are more mag picks here. So that's a good thing. Char mac and cheese, things I don't know, sleep, I can sleep here. All right, so this very l important looking safe requires two mag picks and I've got plenty of skill to take pick this. So, yeah, we're gonna pick it. Journal of M. Bakanu, that's the journal I'm after. A bit cartridge, plasma cutter, Airman Ballistic. Wow, that does a lot of damage. 
and a mag pack to get back what I had. So I'm taking it all. Yay! Okay, we got something there. That was good. So, uh, where does this go exactly? I got to return to the vicar with the illustrated manual of M. Bakanu. What's that? What's that? A primal brute? Why does that sound really dangerous? I'm thinking... I'm thinking the big gun. But I can't get a headshot on him. I say we shoot him once and then engage. I think this might be a bad idea, but we're going to do it anyways. Okay. One shot. Oh, he ran. I didn't expect that. Oh, God! Wow, that was lucky. Oh, God! Stand up! Stand up! Wow! The hell are these things? I hear more. Primal hide. Reload. Luckily for me. Ow! Where'd he go? I'm... Go! Oh, run away! Run away! Run away! Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I don't hear him anymore. Did he run away? They used a lot of ammo. And those things are tough, man. The hell was exactly are those things? They're giant apes. Whew. Okay. Well, somehow we ended up back at the cemetery. But at least we're... We got the book. There he is. Primal Behemoth. Let's not mess with the Primal Behemoth anymore. What's that? The Leather Boa. The Snake. I'll take the Hide. Probably could have used my pistol on it, but that's okay. It's ammo is ammo for these things. So, yeah, okay. Well, we learned our lesson. Do not mess with the primal brutes when you don't have enough firepower to actually kill them. That was really an eye-opener. But, speaking of eye-openers, we've got a new book. Well, at least a book for the vicar. Who knows what he's going to do with the damn thing. Uh, so... Well, let's go see Max first. We gotta turn in the Robo Bounty, but on the way we'll go Any get Max. Yep. I'll Some hit the I'll hit the store in a few minutes. I figure, what the heck? We'll just run over, see Something Max real fast, and uh, turn in the book. President, how are you? Still pretty place. Don't know what I'm doing here. Max, hey Max, I got your book. Trigger, how you doing? I got your porn. Any progress on that matter we discussed? I've got your book of things right here. Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I... 
Wait. What? What the fuck is this? Is this French? I can't fucking read French. Well, it's in a that French. It's a law joke is what it is. French. Ha! I was so high and mighty, preaching to the yokels about following the plan while fighting it at every turn. Uh, you don't want to keep that book to keep others from reading it. You just want it for yourself. Uh, you're overreacting a bit, don't you think? That book seems more important than you let on. Uh, actually, my inside tells me that this book seems more important than you let on. No. Yes? No. Uh... You're overreacting a bit. Yeah, I think this one. I, yeah, kind of, he's using a lot of curse words. So he must be overreacting just a bit. Over, overreacting? Yeah. Do you have any idea how many years I spent in? No, I don't. No. You couldn't possibly know, could you? No, I don't. I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. It didn't work out for I you. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. Well, look at it, you enlightened some lives, you touched some hearts, you've... Well, you, yeah, you kind of wasted your time here, didn't you? At least you still have your mission work here to give you a meaningful purpose. Uh, why did you think that book held secrets? That's a good question. It has to be. This has to be some cosmic retribution. Um, hmm. Leave conversation. Why? Why did you think that book held the secret you're looking for? I'm. I'm deeply curious. Bokonu, the author, yeah, had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. Ah. Unfortunately, he was also one of the founders of the philosophist school of thought, so the book is banned in this colony. Do tell, what is a philosophist for the viewing audience in lightness? Philosophism's a false religion that stands in contradiction to almost everything we know to be true. They believe all is chaos, in stark contrast to OSI's belief in the plan. Ah. But most of the philosophist perversion of Bakonu's thoughts came more than a century after his death. So the bicker searching for a band book sends a, sets a bad example, doesn't it? Alicia's W mission work, this has to be some kind of cosmic retribution. Yes. Is the cosmos playing a dirty trick on you, Vic? Yes, you're right. Such are the workings of the equation. And I've only my own hubris to blame. I certainly never planned for this contingency. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. Yeah. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. Yes, you could. I need someone else to carry stuff. Uh, could be a beneficial arrangement. You know, right out of town. I wouldn't mind a ship hand. What's in it for me? No, you know what? I'm not even going to ask what's in it for me. Actually, I do. I'm going to ask what's in it for me. Free spiritual counseling. Don't someone need it. Someone to watch your back. Yes, need it. Not to mention a grown-up in the party. What do you say? I'm pretty handy with a toss ball stick, or any blunt instrument, really. Hi. I'm also a passable gun hand, if it comes to that. Hmm. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. Blunt object oh, guy. I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. Oh, that is useful. Hmm. Sound good. Is that all part of your vicar training? You know, the seminary, hitting things with blunt objects, hacking computers. Is that part of your vicar training? Well, understanding computers is, though I admit I took it further than most. Ah. And I was quite the 32nd back during my seminary days. <laughs> Left many an opponent bleeding on the field. I don't know what that means. 32nd back, I'm not sure. I'm assuming that he was a rough and tumble, young, strapping lad. Uh, sounds good. You know, this is a good question. Are you even a vicar? Because you aren't sounding very vicary right now. Of course. I'm a vicar who is dedicated to his calling. Okay. More you dedicated say so. than any other you'll find in this colony. I joined the OSI to help decipher the grand plan. But instead, I ended up the vicar in a prison due to ignorance and politics. Ah. Then I came here. I see. Satisfied? Yes, I do. It's not saying much that you're the most vicarish person on this hellhole. 
But, I mean, it sounds good. You ended up in prison because of that. So, uh, yeah, sound good. Let's let's go. Let's go, Vicar, Vic, Max, Vicar, Max, Max. How about we just settle on Max? Because Vicar, you're not much of a very good Vicar. How'd you get assigned to prison duty? Um, yeah, how did you get assigned to prison? God, there's so many questions. Most lay people are not aware of this. Yes. But we've not discovered any new insights into the plan for a long, long time. Ah. Uh -huh. I had an idea that we should welcome the truth, no matter where we found it. I had the worse idea to share my thoughts with a superior. And that's the long and short of it. So, what do you think? I think I'm going to take you along because you said you're semi-good with a gun and big blunt, mashy objects. Come with me, let's go. Fantastic. Let me get my things in order and I'll catch up with you. I shall see you on the ship, Captain. Whenever you're ready to leave Emerald Vale. Yeah! Your reputation with the faction has changed. If enemies are hostile, but your reputation isn't killed on sight, leave in a few days. No idea what that just said. Uh, Vicar, hey, Vic, Vicar Vic, if you're going to be on the ship, uh, I got a better idea. Why don't you come with me? I got some bounties to get. I'll meet you on the ship when you're ready to depart from Emerald Vale, Captain. Uh, I just thought it was something. Okay, he's not going to come with me. I need him to... I would much, much rather have him with me, but... Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. I'll just go. Uh, oh, I have, I have skill and perk points. Yay. All right. Let me take care of this, and I'll be right back. All right, so this is what I did. I'm still ignoring melee because I don't care. I had a couple points to range because I want to get heavy weapons up. So I think that's going to help me with my sniper rifle. I can't be sure. Or is that long guns? I don't know which. Either one, it's up to 30 now. So we've got that stuff there. Defense, I promised I'd get up to at least 20 on dodge. That way I can get it um, up so I can leap forward. That's good. And then dialogue, I added a point. Stealth, I added actually added a couple because I'm science, right? And a couple points in science and one in leadership because I got to keep going. So uh, let's apply that. Yes, I do. Let's go into perks. You know, I found the time dilation very useful. Tactical time dilation meter max. Seems like it's very good overall. Um, I'm still curious about this. Now that I've got a companion, plus 50% XP from companion kills, seems like it's really worth it. The time dilation thing is enticing. Enticing. But now that I've got a companion, I could probably go back and get him from the ship and have him come with me. But anyways, probably the best choice for this. I, the armor, now that I think about it, not that great. But it makes me it's making me really tough. I don't take a lot of damage. Uh, XP, let's... Um, hmm. Let's do the XP. I think that now that we've got Vic, I think I need to have this XP. Who knows when I'm going to get him? Apply that. Thank you. Yes. There we go. Okay, now we're back. Journal. What did the journal say? I completed a task. Look at that. Vicar was initially pleased to receive the book, but quickly became frustrated when he found out he could not read it. But it's actually a completed quest. Small grave matter. Uh, I still haven't got all of these. I've still got to get Abernathy. Phyllis is a supervisor in the Edgewater Cannery, so that looks like our next place to go. Fistful of digits. Oh, that's my bounties. And die, robot, die. I got to return to Ludwig and maybe unlock that thing. So let's head on out. You have a lock. Leap. Double click forward. Double click when jump moving forwards. It's leap great forward. Leap forward. Great. Oh, I see. Okay. I can go back and get that thing if I wanted to. Um, hmm. Cannery. Let's go talk. Let's go find Phyllis. She's probably in this cannery somewhere. I'm not sure where. Go visit the cannery. It's not quite dark yet. So we'll go Spacer's Choice, Saltuna Cannery. Hmm. This adventure is brought to you by Spacer's Choice, Saltuna. 
Saltuna, a special blend of herbs and spices packed in oil and loaded with essential sodium. Available in both Gourmet Saltuna and Saltuna Light, it's the only source of protein a busy worker needs. Manufactured in our state-of-the-art cannery in bustling Edgewater, our elite chefs prepare Saltuna to the highest of standards just for you. So, taste the freedom with Spacer's Choice Saltuna, now with extra artificial ingredients at no extra cost. Hello? Is there a receptionist here? Um, hmm. No one's here. Ooh, there's a guard. Hello, guard. I probably should have come back during the day if I wanted to talk to Phyllis. I don't... Vending machine. Hey, vending machine. It's cool. Aha. Bracelet. I don't know if I can be seen or not. Let me just look around. Gourmet salt tuna cans. All right. Not a whole lot here. Hmm. Oops. Ah! Leap, leaping forward with great abound. Big cartridges. Anyone see me? Nope, they didn't see me. Okay. Does this open? Open. Where's this go? Whoa, it's a side yard. Okay, this is another out, so we'll just keep that in mind for future reference. Don't stand the way in front of those doors, man. That's dangerous. Anything here? Salt tuna cans. I'm not all that interested in salt tuna. I was hoping to find Phyllis during the day. What the heck's going on here? Hey, uh, corporate trooper. I have questions. These do not look like saltunas. These would be sprats with things on them. I'll take them. That's a hopper. Why are there sprats near the Hopper for the salt tuna. I read a report about you guys fishing things or putting things in the in the canner that aren't salt tunas. Would Sprats classify as that? Wondering. Phyllis, hey, I'm glad to you're here. I thought you might have gone home for the day. Hey, Phyllis, Silas sent me. You the new worker? Uh, Whatever. No. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. I'm guessing you're the foreman here, based off of your sparkling personality. Foreman Granger, mind those words don't come out of your mouth unless preceded by yes or right away or thank you. Thank you, Graveside Fees. I'm here to collect yes. Shit. Silas still on about that? Yes. Here, take the fees. Thank you. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. Uh, Silas, is, 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 these papers aren't signed in your name. Is that going to be a problem? Because if they're not signed in your name, what's the deal with it? These aren't signing your name. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Oh. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. Ah. It's very kind of you. I'm, I'm having second thoughts. Why why you have to pay off your neighbor's gravesite fees? That's a good question. If you're not familiar with board law, you ought to be. I'm not, so tell law me. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Oh. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. Oh. He was a good worker. I bet he had nice teeth. Had. Past tense. You said this guy shot himself? Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Okay. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Just between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handguns aren't the most reliable. I thought they were 30% more reliable, but... That's an awful thing, awful thing to say. It must be tough losing family. Eugene wasn't family. Oh. I'm confused. Uh, I thought you said you were his closest living relative. As you can imagine, my confusion. 
Yeah, I was the closest living person relative to his body at time of death. Oh. I'm the one who found him, you see, so I pay the fines. That is horribly Suicide unfair. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. Hey, you can't be serious, right? What, what are you going to do? Arrest his corpse? Uh, vandalism, huh? Did you have to clean bits of him off the wall or something? Uh, no, I know where that's going to go. If you damage a employee body part or the employee themselves, that'd be vandalism. You can't be serious. I'm plenty serious. In fact, I'm a little upset Eugene didn't think things through. How inconsiderate of it. In other words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's choice. You would have. Would have? You didn't? I'm confused. This you guy, Eugene guy sounds like he's a little more trouble than he's worth. Um, hmm. Would have? You didn't? Look around. Yeah. Edgewater ain't exactly swimming in luxury. That is very we true. can't afford to pay the body price of a suicide. All I know is Silas asked me for Eugene's gravesite fees, which means he was approved for burial, which means his papers went through, which means the town's in the clear. I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can rest his bones in peace, and the rest of us can get on with our own lives. Okay, then. You get on with your life, and it sounds like you're really broke up about the matter, and a little bit about a few bits lighter. Uh, is there anything up here other than the corporate trooper? Okay, where's this go? An office? Is this Eugene's office? Pick up Guide to Mechanical Engineering, but... What did I get? The door. I think I'll have a sit and read this. Did I sit? No. What did I get? What is what is this this thing? Guide to a what? Inventory aid. Spacer's choice corona. No, that's not it. Mag power too. I've got these mag I got these. I've got mags now. Okay. Uh spacer's choice. Guide to mechanical inspect guide to mechanical engineering. The Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering, Volume Two, a dense technical primer on mechanical engineering published by Spacer's Choice. This volume describes the process of repairing and dismantling common models of auto mechanical workers. I'm going to inspect that. Okay. Can I use the guide for some reason? I don't, can I, no, can't. Don't know. I don't know what, what that's for. It's under my quest items. I think it's important. I don't know why I use the terminal. Terminals or anything. Ah, that takes two. Is it really worth it? It's, oh my God. That is all worth it, though. I will handle Doors closed. Yes, please. I'll take all that. Zero-G Brew, I'll take that as well. That was good. So let's use the terminal and find out what the heck we're doing here. Uh, Edgewater South Tuna Space Choice Terminal Access Company Notifications. Uh, continue. Uh, Edgewater Salt Tuna Canary Space Choice Property from the Office of Reed Thompson, Outpost Administrator. Symptoms of affected have now reached a critical mass. We, I have instructed our staff to transform the old domicile into a sick house. Plague is a reality of life on the frontier, and as spacers, we are expected to face up to reality. And the reality is that we do not carry enough medicine to treat all of you. That sucks. Medical treatment is a privilege, not a right. We must strive every day to demonstrate our worthiness of that privilege. If you find yourself suffering the symptoms of an incipient plague, the best thing you can do for yourself and your family is to don your jumpers and come to work. Really? Thereby infecting the rest of the workers? Work fortifies the spirit. Physical illness recapitulates spiritual weakness. Return to root. And that's it. Okay, well, that was very interesting. Uh, yeah, they're infecting themselves because they don't know the basics of infectious diseases. Bypass shunt. 
Spacer's Chaw. I'm getting all these wonderful things. Did I see an elevator downstairs? I think I did. Down the ladder. It's kind of a wonky mechanic for that. How much is that price that worth? 25. I don't think... I can't be sure they're not going to see me if I take that. Unless I get really close to this. Nope, didn't see a thing. What bracelet? I don't know what bracelet you're talking about. I'm leaving now. Use terminal. Natural water, water nickel path. Let's just. Nope, I'm not interested. Actually, I am interested. Uh, terminal access logs. Notice Edgewater Saltuna Cannery Facility. Strictly, here's space choice standards of health and safety. Not if you're allowing sick workers to come to work. Schedule your sick leave with your Space of Choice foreman and or supervisor. Be considerate towards other members of the Space of Choice family. Allow two to four weeks to process and approve your scheduled sick leave. I don't plan my sick leave very often, so that's going to be tough. Lost hours must be compensated to the company. See, Reed, if you're having trouble paying for your sick leave, we'll try to arrange wage deductions instead. Work invigorates the spirits, blah, 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 blah. If you find yourself falling ill, it may be time to schedule a meeting with your local vicar. I'm not sure how that's going to work out. Okay. All right. Well, that was interesting. They're not managing their employees very well. Oh, my God. The hell type of elevator music is that? The grease monkey Argo. Hello. I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. You asked why it's taking so long to fix. The answer's technically. I've interrupted Don't something apologize. important. Just try using small words for 